<laughs> Here's a full light ice machine that stuck in time to life. We got some nuts and bolts chilling right here. Looks like a little full pan sensors. That's pretty standard on these, isn't it? I guess I'll turn it off and back on and see if I can get it to run. ice going through this tube right now, I can feel it. It's making ice. Nice clear side glass there. Water probes have been replaced. Looks like a little bubble moving back and forth in my nose right there. Well, it just went into time delay. I think what happened. This little truck, this little sensor here got tripped. Yeah. Oh, so, if that ever happens, it'll kick it in time to like. So, I want to do something wrong with this. Ooh, <laughs> that's gross. Kinda of seems like it's working fine, doesn't it? Look in here. Look at all that calcium. It's not so much in here. But the ice comes out of there and it hits right here. This is all full of calcium. That's what's happening. Got it off here and watch. See, the friction is keeping that in there. That's causing that little hose stretch sensor to cut the machine. How encrusted with shit this thing is. Look. Dude had this so over tightened it warped the shit out of it. You see that? Look at that. stronger than they say it should be and it's weak as piss. It's pretty much not touching the stuff. Better go get some nickel safe. Well for now we'll just let this do its thing. And when the scale eventually dissolves. We'll put it all back together. They've replaced the control board and the water sensors because of this problem. So it's all clean now, good enough anyway. But like, look at where this gasket is, where this goes together. It's not really ideal, is it? Well, whatever, I'm gonna put it back together. Well, now it's been like a half an hour and it's still working. We wouldn't have this problem if the idiot would have just cleaned the calcium out of that elbow. I replaced the board and the water sensors by ripping them off of this machine. Couldn't figure out how to make the water probes work because they're not there. The screws aren't there or anything. You didn't leave the old parts. Threw them away. I'm here replacing a board and the thing ain't even got all its parts. I didn't know this was a thing. A little signal adapter that has to be in there. And homie G could not figure out how to put this on. But that that's it. So that's the original diagram. That's the new board. They're completely different looking. I guess I'll put that sticker in since, you know, this is the board we got now. I've got it plugged in now and I've got the alarm low and common stuck together here. And I'm going to turn it on and watch what happens. Turn it on and we'll wait a little while and look over here. Look at that, it just starts spraying water all over the place. 
Don't get any lights here. I'm gonna look over here and see if I power it on, power light comes on. Yeah, it does, so. They just don't show through anymore. So those lights mean nothing now. That's pretty inconvenient. I got that valve cracked now. It's just flowing water in a little bit. And when it fills up, I'm gonna twist the other wires together and we'll see what happens. So it's full of water now. I've got the little sensors twisted together. It's running the auger. And it's running the refrigeration. And I guess it's gonna start making ice now. I guess I just gotta get new water sensors and this'll work. And there it goes, making ice. Sound against this, that it. Um, that must was just necessary all with Anna's it. That's my haul anyway. So y'all tell me. Man, you hear this country R and B wannabe bullshit music they're playing here? Trash.